What's up ladies and gentlemen, today's video is a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about an idea called world modelling. I got this idea from exploring the world of lucid dreaming. Uh, this is a book I uh, try and put a link in the description for you guys to check it out. Um, basically the idea is that when you, in waking life, from a very young age we learn certain things about the world. So we'll learn that, for example, the oven is hot. You know, most of us have learned this by trial and error, I know I did. Uh, parents have, have always been saying, you know, don't touch the oven, it's hot. You touch the oven, you hurt yourself and you remember that it's hot. And then therefore you sort of associate certain things with certain other things. So you might associate heat with the colour red or orange uh, after seeing fire. Uh, you might associate, for example, wasps and bees with um, the pain from their sting. I know I did this when I was uh, stung by a bee at a very young age. Um, and you might also associate things like dogs with loud noises such as barking. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to say is, uh, you have in your subconscious mind uh, a sort of blueprint of how the world works and how certain things interact. Uh, and it's very easy to become just taking it for granted and not really thinking about this especially when you start lucid dreaming. Now, the way this plays into lucid dreaming is that you'll have certain expectations of how the world should work when you go into a lucid dream. So even if you actually become lucid and you're walking around and you're in control of everything, uh, so to speak, you know, you're in control of your dream body, um, it's very easy to, to sort of stick to this world blueprint that you've had from a, from a very young age for your whole life. Uh, and it can stop you doing things that you would like to do. So for example, let's say you were trying to fly in a lucid dream, right? Now, from a very young age, you've learned that when you jump up in the air, you fall back down because of gravity, right? So unless you challenge this belief and tell yourself otherwise, then it's gonna be exactly the same in a lucid dream. Even if you're aware of what you're doing, uh, it's always gonna be the same thing, gravity pulling you back down to earth. So it's just a quick video today, but just to remind you that you need to start challenging these beliefs and preconceptions about the way the world works if you would like to sort of progress and do more interesting things with lucid dreaming. So if you have a question, as always, email it to contact at howtolucid.com. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. What's up guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos and you like what I do on this channel, you can actually support me using the Patreon link down in the description, or I'll put one that will come here as well. And that's patreon.com forward slash house of lucid. Uh, it's a way you can sort of support me um, with giving small monthly amounts, and it really does make a huge difference to me. Um, it allows me to keep doing these videos. Also, if you'd like to get a free lucid resource guide PDF, make sure you click the link that should be in the corner here, and I'll see you